Welcome to a presentation on how to use bar charts in relation with the presentation box in Actions, Properties and the Analysis tree in the Analytics tab. Bar charts are different than time charts. They present their items as rows. Bar charts columns can contain text or graphs and there can be any number of columns. In this example there are four columns, one text column and three bar graph columns. In the leftmost columns, there are both bar graphs and line graphs. The rightmost column, there is a stacked bar graph. There are several ways of applying bar charts as the way of presenting data or analysis. One of them is by using any of the three bar charts related actions in the presentation box. Bar charts last value, bar chart proportions, and table last value cop. This way you can present the selected number of series as a bar chart. Let's try the first option, bar chart last value. It shows the last value of each series as a number and a bar, sorting the values in descending order. The chart is first opened in the Browse tab. There you can have it opened in Analytics by clicking the Open in Analytics button. In the Analytics tab, you can see how our chart is constructed. The series are simply put in the series list. Then comes the scalar analysis, which is very often used together with bar charts. Here, one calculation has been added, the last. It forms a category series consisting of the last values of each series. Later sorting analysis is added in order to have the series sorted in the descending order. And finally, the bar chart is added as a presentation method. When adding a bar chart as a presentation method in the analysis tree, by default it shows two columns, one with the value labels and one with the values as bars. In order to add a column showing the values, we need to use a graph layout dialog. Here you can see the two columns already added to the chart, one text and one graph column. Next, we need to click the Add New Text Column button, which adds a new column in the Columns and Graphs area. Next, I'm dragging the time series and dropping below it and moving them between the first two columns. The reason why there is text, not values, showing in the newly added column is because the default representation of a series in a text column is the value label. We need to change this to show the value instead. Whenever you select something in a bar chart, you will see tabs that correspond to the selected element, as well as tabs that correspond to all related elements. For instance, let's click on the header of the second column, and there is a tab called Header Properties on the top of the screen, with a couple of property boxes below. There you can modify the header text. Now let's click on the text in the second column, and there is a tab called Cell Properties. There you can modify the text and appearance of the text of this particular cell. Since we want to change the properties of the entire column, let's click on the Column Properties tab. There, in the Properties, let's go to the Cell Defaults box and let's click on its Edit Text button. The Edit Default Cell Text dialog appears where we need to replace the dynamic text by showing the series value instead of the series label. Now the second column in our chart shows the values. Looking at the properties boxes, you can also see tiny pins next to some of the elements in the boxes. Their role is to pin the selected setting to the chart and prevent its change, in case of applying a new style sheet, for example. They can be used to pin the change settings for the columns and also for the individual cells. This concludes the presentation on how to use bar charts in relation with the presentation box in Actions Properties and the Analysis tree in the Analytics tab. There is more information about different ways of presenting data and analysis available on our help pages. Thank you for viewing.